Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to another exciting video tutorial with Blabend Solutions. In today's video tutorial, we are going to look at how to design this amazing and wonderful looking Shito label. In Ghana here, it is known as Shito, but in the other part of the world, I'm not sure I know how it is called. I think some people call it the black sauce or the dark sauce, dark pepper sauce or black pepper sauce or something, well I don't know. But how do you call Shito? in your local dialect let me know by leaving the answer in the comment section below but before we kick start with a video this is black band solutions once again and over here we turn everyday inspirations into stunning designs so if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell icon to all so you don't miss out anytime i release new videos do well to smash the like button if you find this video helpful having nothing more to say why don't you come along with me into the world of creation? Let's start creating beautiful design works. In front of you are the resource files I'll be using for today's video tutorial. I'll be leaving a link to download it in the description below. So make sure to check there and download the resource file and follow my lead. Finally, we are in the world of Photoshop and to start designing, what we need to do is to work on the dimensions over here. So I'll be renaming this to Shito label and in here my label size for the width it is 7 inches is going to be in landscape mode so 7 inches by 3 inches. Everything is okay for me here so what I'll do is just go ahead and click on create. Now the, f the other thing we need to do is to work on the background color. I'll be choosing the color red. I don't know why, but I think red, you know, red kind of blend well with the food, food stuffs and stuff like that, you know. So I think color red is okay. So to do that, let's come on to our adjustment and let's choose a solid color. Now I have a hexa code I'll be using, and that hexa code is 6A0202. 6A0202. That is it for the first hexa code. So I'll be creating another one by using the same step to create the other hexa code and this one will be a bit lighter which is C40202. Now I want you to pay close attention to what I'll be doing over here. Over here with this vector or layer max option selected, I'm going to hit Ctrl I on my keyboard to invert it and now you realize that the color can't be seen any longer. Now back to our tools panel the foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white now i want to set the foreground color to white in order to reveal the color that i just what hid here so to do that i'll be selecting first of all my brush tool and make sure i use this double sided arrow click on it and i have white as my foreground color now and with white set as my foreground color, I can reveal the color that is hidden. So I'm going to increase the size of my brush tool using the close square bracket on my keyboard. And over here, make sure you select your vector mask, okay, or your layer mask thumbnail. So just click in here this way. And I think one is okay. So that's it. That's it. I'm not going to do anything again. So let's select our move to, and that is it for the first set. Now I have. A background image over here that I'd want to bring on board. So with this BG image, let me quickly drop it here. Hold the Alt key whilst you click on any side and drag. And now what I'll be doing is to with uh, the blend mode over here. I'm going to change the blend mode to something like overlay or soft light as it should be, and uh, reduce the opacity. This is okay. I reduce the opacity to 63. That is okay for me. So. I'm going, to, I'm going to be selecting all these background so with the first layer selected hold on to your shift key and select the last layer ctrl g to group it and i'm going to rename this as bg aka background now the other thing i would want to do is to create that emblem for the shito product okay and uh, to do that i would want to create a new canvas document and do everything over there then i will import the emblem onto this background that i just did so quickly let's create a new canvas or let me say a new document 
and uh, with this I'll be using 5x5 five five inches so and let's quickly hit on create I'm not going to name this you know so uh, quickly let's head on to our resource menu and uh, I'm going to be selecting all these items with the exception of the text and the ribbon and the background okay so all the other items will be sent over here so let me bring them over here one after the other so let me just hold and reduce the size So amongst these, I would now arrange them in a way that I think uh, best suitable for the emblem creation. So, uh, well, yeah, you can as well arrange it anyhow that you so wish to do it. You can as well follow me if you want. Very good so guys i've um you know this is how i wanted it to be so now i'm done and what i need to do is to quickly link all these layers together so with my first layer selected hold on to the shift key and select the and click select sorry and select the last layer and click choose the link layers now i can group all these by hitting on the control g and i'm just going to drag this guys on top of my background that i just created so um, i just held on to this layer click on it and drag it onto the background that we have over here so i'm just going to name this items and probably reduce the size we are not done we are actually not done with this so uh the other thing i would want to do is to come onto my tools panel and choose the rectangle to over here and I'm going to be drawing a shape this way, shape this way. The color doesn't matter for now. Later on, we work on the color. So Control T and right click on it and let's choose WAP. Okay. Now in here, I just want to hold and bloat. I just want to bloat the shape. So make sure you click in the inner part and let's drag this part out let's do same for the downwards part you know yeah good and let's do same for the left and right side of the shape sorry i think this didn't work well so great okay so that is it let's go ahead and hit on enter and that is it for this shape we, we are going to do some small touches to it so to do the touch let's go to our add layer style over here and we'll be adding a gradient overlay great i think i am already filling the gradient overlay i think i like this one so the uh, hexa code for the first gradient color is three five zero two zero one that is for the left side and the right side is f f zero eight zero one that is the hexa code for that gradient we are not done i'll be uh, applying a stroke an inner stroke so let's click on the stroke item over here let's increase the size a bit and this is an outer stroke so let's make it an inner stroke and uh i am i don't want a solid color i want a gradient one so with the fill type just click on the drop down and choose gradient and uh, probably you can you know uh, go through your list of gradients that you have here and see which works best for you okay I think I'll go with this one so just go through your list of gold gradients and pick any one that works best for you now this shape is on top of the pepper and other stuff layer so I'd want to quickly shift it down to the items beneath the items the shape is also a, a, a bit bigger so let's reduce the size of the shape Control t hold your shift and alt key and let's reduce the size of this okay so the the next thing is to add my type 
over here that is so let's select our type 2 and let's type uh, something you know let, let's check our resource file I think we have we are going to be inputting the delicious and the shito so delicious over here and we're going to have another one which is shito I'm going to change the font to something classy so Senzel, Senzel, do you have a font called Senzel? So it should be Senzel rather. Okay, so that is a font, Senzel. Now we're placing this guy over here this way. So what I actually want to do is to get rid of the I in between the H and the T and increase or space out the top. So the uh, the bar of the garlic serves as the eye so shito then we have this seven as our delicious shito that is it we we have one last other thing that we need to work so i'm going to import my ribbon now this is where my ribbon comes in so quickly let's bring our ribbon that is too big so with our ribbon what we'll be doing is to quickly create a new layer on top of the ribbon and select our pen tool and let me zoom in so I can just create something you know okay I don't want to get this I just want the outline so let me hold I'm holding my control key now on my keyboard and I'm going to just select the small poles over here and try to you know make some adjustment or so just go ahead and do this and uh, I think I'm done with it so I'll be selecting my type 2 now and I'll be make sure the shape the new layer you created you, st you are still selecting that layer and with your type 2 selected we can now click anywhere this way and let me copy that item that we have over here uh, it says what mashallah mashallah I'm just going to select my direct selection tool and over here I'm just going to click and drag this guy to the middle of my ribbon and that is it so quickly I'm going to group all these items together but most importantly the she and the delicious the mashallah the ribbon um, uh, we don't need this shape any longer so um, I, I just want to reduce the size of these guys control T sorry and the shape the shape as well control T and now I'm going to select the items and group all of it together so now I can do control T and reduce the size of it right great 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 so i'll be placing this guy over here this way and now we are actually done with creating the emblem but it doesn't look realistic so i want to make it look realistic a bit by adding some shadows you understand to both the beneath the items here and maybe add some shadows to the shape this shape so quickly let me add let's go to our add layer style over here and click on drop shadow Okay, this is too dark so let me probably reduce opacity and uh, sorry for that to 60 then uh, decrease the direction sorry the distance and uh, I think the size is okay the size is 50 50 51 there about and the spread okay so that is okay for that and now with the items okay I'm going to create a new layer beneath the item the grouped the items that I've grouped here and I'll be selecting my brush tool amongst your option bar here you realize we have the properties for the brush so just click on this downwards property with this item over here just click on any either the bottom point or the top point click on any and click on just click on one and drag it and drag them closer to each other so if you choose the top one 
just click on it and drag it down if you choose the down one click on it and drag it up so that is it and we are using a soft rounded brush okay so that is what we are using sorry so this is what we have right now we make sure our foreground is set to black we might probably reduce opacity so let me reduce the size of this brush too i don't want it getting out so um i'm just going to you know click on down here click on it again and uh well, i think this is okay this is too dark or probably we should leave it this way what do you think guys okay so i'm going to leave it this way and that is it so i'm going to name this emblem so guys we are actually done creating our emblem and now uh, the let me zoom out so we have a view of what we have done so what we are actually going to do now is to work on the gradient did i just say gradient sorry we are going to work on the ingredient and the direction for user and other stuff i think those ones are text so uh, i shouldn't spend much of the time i'm just going to you know skip this part or speed up the process in i'm just going to lift up the text we have the text there here for us so i'm just going to you know lift up lift up the text bring and drop bring and drop bring and drop them over in here okay guys so quickly i'll be doing that and i'll get back to you guys in a jiffy all right guys you are actually welcome back and i'm done with the text the typing and everything i just copied it from our you know text that we have over here and i brought them onto the artboard but one thing i realized was that the back the light red is too reddish and it's not making our pepper pepperish so I want to reduce the opacity of this light red to something about I think this 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 is okay this is okay and the other thing I realized was that this looks raw so uh, to work out something I thought I thought it best to you know duplicate the pepper that we have over here and add Gaussian blur effect to it and maybe put it at some vantage point to make it pop your clients always say make the design pop sometimes when i when they tell me this i get confused it doesn't look it, does, it, it doesn't pop it doesn't pop, make it pop okay quickly let's sorry about that let's do that so um i have my pepper over here so let's unlink it click on it and click on the icon over here to unlink it and i'm going to drag and drop this guy over here now this should be on top of my bg that is a background and beneath the other layers okay so quickly let me reduce the size of this pepper Control t and uh, reduce the size of the pepper to duplicate it i'm going to do Control j to do the duplication and i'm going to sorry about that i think i didn't do it there. alt j sorry to do the duplication i'm going to be leaving my guy over here but control T to bring the tail out a bit you know yeah so I'm just gonna hit on this and I'm going to hold my alt key again and duplicate this guy now bring him here and what I'm going to do is to control T and uh, right click on this and choose flip horizontal so I'm going to, going to you know place this guy also over here and uh, maybe increase the size a bit yeah yeah so this is okay and we should actually have one over here on oh, the no. so let me hold my alt key okay click and drag this guy and let's place him yeah yeah now my pepper is looking pepperish. I think we should have some other stuffs, you know, some other stuff. So let me see if I can do some small thing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have over here. Now the next thing is to apply my Gaussian blur effect on all of these layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, apply the Gaussian effect for one then i'll be copying the layer style and doing it for the other so to do that i'm going to select my first layer 
get onto the filter menu tab over here click on it and choose a blur then we can quickly choose the Gaussian blur over here so uh, this is too much we it's making us not see the pepper in as much as we want to blur we still want to have a feel of the pepper we want, we want to see what it is you know yeah we want to see what it is, it is. okay so okay here and I'm just going to hit on the alt key click on the filter and drag it onto on top of this so what I did was we have this look at where my cursor is hold on to your alt key and just click and drag paste it click and drag paste it click and drag and paste it so I'm going to be enlarging the emblem and uh, that is it guys i'd wanted to do some you know add some oil and paint brush and you know put some brushes to it and make it look popping but guys our time is far spent so i'm lying i'm lying i'm not adding anything i'm not adding it anything and uh, uh, guys i think that is it too that is it there's nothing more to add again and this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial if you enjoyed it please 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 smash the like button if you are new to the channel please go ahead and hit on the subscribe button do all to share the video to other colleagues of yours as well to also you know learn from this until i come your way next time it is still blabbing solutions and my people out here are just making noise and just i'm out <laughs>